had to develop a lot of experience. You know, we only had one uh, basically kid that played in the varsity football game. So we took our lumps last year, but we're taking care of the ball real well this year offensively, and we're playing great defense. Great defense is what's happening over at Pioneer. Jason Wheeler has brought the Diamondbacks a long way. Three wins all of last year, but now their fourth straight win this past Friday over LaFaria, in which they held the Lions offense to only 10 points. Joe, Pioneer looking really good so far, huh? Hardly anyone looked at their varsity schedule last year. Everyone looked at their JV team and kept talking about them all year, saying, wait till you see next year. Next year's here. Here they are. They're real. They are real. They are undefeated, as is Roma. Roma played at Palmview on Friday. The Gladiators 4-0 after a 44-27 win. A uh, little controversial remarks after the game given to one Greg Luca when Lobos coach Maggie Requena said, quote, they're nobody special. He was talking about the fact that he thought his team beat itself with six fumbles, three of them lost. But what are your thoughts when, when Coach Requenia says Roma is nobody special? Do you think Roma's special? Do you think that's what Coach Requenia has meant? I think he was just incredibly frustrated by this game. If you guys got a chance to see it, it was incredible how much Roma just controlled the ball and controlled the pace of the game. Palmview never got a chance to get out there. Roma picked up 20 first downs in this game to Palmview's <laughs> six by my count. So... Just total ball control, and he was just really frustrated after the game with how that played out. R Rome, uh, Ramon Espinosa, 40 carries. Can he keep that up through district play? I wouldn't think so, but he's so far so good. I mean, the last carry of his game was the longest one of the night. He ran like 59 yards, something like that. So he looked as fresh as ever. Man, oh, man. And more of that district, more great teams. Before their game at PSJ North on Friday, Mission Veterans coach David Gilpin had an idea what Diego Hernandez could do against the Raiders. See his knowledge of the offense. Uh, there's nothing else that we're looking for. I'm not looking for him to be more accurate. I'm not looking for him to know our offense better because he's already there. He is already there. And the upshot, Diego Hernandez goes 23 of 31 for 401 yards, six touchdowns, and the Patriots win, but hold off PSJ North 48-41. Joe, your thoughts on what Diego Hernandez is doing? He's the top quarterback in the Valley right now when it comes to passing. Every week you give me a chance to talk about 7-on-7. Seven seven. I saw this coming from a long <laughs> way off. He's got three tremendous receivers, and now that he knows the playbook, it's a big playbook with a lot of plays, and he's going to have some fun. All right, when we come back, it's Coach's Corner time. We're going to talk with Coach Bruce Bush. We're going to talk about this Mission Veterans game, and we'll talk about what happens when Wessico East starts passing the ball. It's all next.